in the last 15 videos we've discussed auto we've discussed immunology uh, the immune system uh, helper cells b cells t cells um, some of the hypersensitivity diseases and now we're going to turn to autoimmune diseases and autoimmune auto means self this is self and so autoimmune diseases are you have a, you your body amounts or mounts a immune reaction with itself and we're going to talk about that over the next few videos and here is a list of autoimmune diseases and there's kind of organ specific type autoimmune diseases and there's the systemic type of autoimmune diseases and there's kind of a caveat to these autoimmune diseases is um, we don't know with a hundred percent certainty that these are fully autoimmune diseases that might sound counterintuitive but we don't know exactly what's going on in these diseases um, especially the ones with the little asterisks right here um, they are not a hundred percent sure sure and like for example with polyarteritis nodosa it's vasculitis vasculitis part of part of the disease is vasculitis and what we think is you know you have microbes and you know microbes kind of enter your body you know let's say this is a little microbe and a little piece of this microbe gets broken off you know the macrophages kind of engulf this and then a little piece gets displayed up onto its major histability complex and then antibodies or the immune system uh, react to this and it's through the process of the immune system reacting to this microbe immune response Re reacting to this microbe inside your blood that causes vasculitis which ultimately is the disease polyarteritis nodosa so there might be some overlap between some of these diseases but you know in Robin's basic, basic pathology 8th edition page 135 it says similar anocus antibodies to self antigens are frequently generated following other forms of injury e.g. ischemia and may and may even serve a physiological role in the removal of products of tissue breakdown so you know let's say we have a blood vessel here and you know let's say uh, you know a normal virus or a common cold you get a common cold and some of these cells right here get damaged you know they undergo necrosis necrosis and you have an inflammation response and all that well some of these self you know some of these pieces of these the cell damage here that you know there might be little pieces of these cells kind of floating in this bloodstream and the body the immune system might kind of establish auto antibodies against kind of these self antigens or these little pieces of the cell and that might you know cause pickup 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 of these cell fragments that you know will help you know in a normal physiological role to get rid of these these cellular debris if you will so the autoimmune diseases um, we've we've kind of got a list here, and we'll go through all these, but it's not a hundred percent. And so, before we talk about these some of these auto diseases in in detail, we need to talk about a concept about self tolerance. And what is self tolerance? We kind of hinted towards it in a previous video. But we're going to discuss how B cells, how, let me just scroll down here, how B cells and T cells are kind of trained, if you will, trained or 
uh, mature. And we'll discuss self-tolerance and then we'll go into the pathogenesis of some of these diseases through these mechanisms of self-tolerance. So we'll see you in the next video.